Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. <laughs> I haven't posted a video, um, but you know, it was the end of summer and my kids started school early this month, so I just got so busy. But I do have the time now to film. But before I start to cash stuff, paycheck, August 11th, so last Friday's paycheck. Before we start stuffing this $850, I have some exciting news. As some of you guys have heard already, I am releasing the A6 trifold wallet, which is the obviously the A6 version to my A7. So let me give you guys a little sneak peek preview. I mean, I already showed it on Instagram, but um, I'll let you guys see it as well. So this is the A6 version of my A7. It comes with a back pocket. Um, it has this luxurious V stitching detail. Let me show you the A7. So this is my A7. This is the one I originally brought in. Um, so here's the size comparison. It is obviously the A6 is bigger, but I've designed it to where it's not so big and bulky. Um, so it's kind of like a compact A6 personal size. Just like how I designed the A7 to be compact as well. So here's the two side by side. Same design, everything. I've only changed the inside a little bit because obviously I had more room to work with on the A6. So here is my new A6 trifold wallet. It does come with six card slots here, two side pockets here where you can actually fit a lot of things. You can actually put your cash there if you want to. Fits your cash perfectly. Put any notes there, receipts, whatever you may need. It does come with super deep pockets. Your cash can also fit in here as well. That's just how big these pockets are made. So very convenient. You can hide your money everywhere. <laughs> So, it does come with 25 millimeter rings. And then on the back, it has seven card slots. And then it has obviously the pen holder here. And then a large pocket here as well. It does come with a wristlet and D rings for you to attach. Um, if you want to wear a crossbody, so you can just attach them here. Remove the wristlet and then attach your crossbody strap. So that is the cream, the classic cream. So the difference between this one to the A7 is right here this part right here obviously the a7 there's not much room to work with so we just have a large flap here and then three card slots and then five card slots here still has a pocket here everything is pretty much the same the only thing that changed was this part and i added more card slots obviously so let me put this one back and put the cream back as well. Okay, let me show you the black one. So here it is. I couldn't decide between what colors I wanted, so I just brought cream and black. You can't go wrong with both colors. So same design, same everything. Obviously, the only thing that changed was the color of the fabric. And this is vegan leather and very, very soft and nice leather quality. A lot of my customers have raved about the A7 and how luxurious the fabric is and just the overall quality. It's the same exact fabric, same design, same concept. So there's our card slots and the big 
side pocket here. While we are here, I might as well start stuffing because this is the binder that I'll be stuffing. So I kind of categorize this one as my low priority. I'm sinking funds. So uh, I, I'm not going to be stuffing like large amounts in it. This is my low priority binder and my new cash envelopes that I made. I design just for this binder. Um, I wanted something just neutral and black to go with the black vibe. So, and I love anything dainty and floral. So I went with dandelions. <laughs> the kids will get 10. And like I said, this is my low priority binder. So I'm not going to be stuffing it with large amounts. So kids have 20. I do have kids in my personal, in my A7, which is my wallet, since we took them out to get ice cream and donuts. So I did take some of the cash out from here and I put it in my um, kids envelope, my A7. So I'll take that back and put it in here. And then for his, I have $10 in here and we're going to stuff 10 as well. So we have 20 and I believe I have an A7 envelope of, for his as well in my wallet, which I will be transferring in here. So I kind of, these are all my new envelopes and categories. So I just, I had like kids and his and beauty and whatnot in my A7 and I just, I wasn't using it on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. So I just thought, let me just put it in my low priority binder and um, not carry the cash around only when I need it. I'll take it out. So self-care is getting $5. Again, this goes towards, this is like beauty. Um, I believe in here I have it as beauty, but over here, I'm just going to label it as self-care um, and use it towards anything for myself. And then eating out, I have 10 so far, so we'll put 10 in here as well. So now we have 20, and I just started these categories this month, so that's why there's not much in here. Spending gets 20. Eventually, this will move over to my A7 wallet when we need to spend it, but I want to accumulate enough before I put it in my wallet. So we have 30 here. Oh, let me put the 10 in the back as I like my larger bills to be in the front. And then birthdays get $20. So we have 50, 70, 90. 100, 110, 120, 25, 130 in here. And we don't have many birthdays left this year, but this can also roll over into next year as well. Giving is getting $5. And this is for, you know, gifts or birthdays for other relatives that we have to attend. Um, just anything basically i could have labeled it as gifts but <laughs> i just did giving so we have 50 70 80 90 95 96 97 and i think these ones they were just extra ones laying around somewhere and i just threw them in here <laughs> okay family visits so i started this <laughs> well i thought of this category after um, my husband's sister came to visit and it was a week worth of a lot of money and so I wanted to be prepared this time this is my family and his family so we're gonna stuff 20 in here which puts us at 30 and then travels I started this one as well. No, so so far we have 25 and I'm gonna add 20. This is just for like last minute weekend getaway travels with the kids. 
I just want to be prepared for last minute things like that. So we have 45 in here. Savings challenge. Oh, so this was from the first paycheck. This is the rollover um, that I'm gonna stuff into my savings challenge. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58 dollars rolled over which I'm going to stuff that in my 100 envelopes challenge. So maybe I should leave this aside for now so I remember to do it. And then vacation gets 20. So this is actually for like pre-planned vacations versus travels. It's just last minute getaways um, with the kids, just somewhere near um, town so vacation gets 20 and so the last vacation we went on was during July 4th weekend and we went to Florida to visit my family which was very last minute so we kind of I actually did go over everything that was in my vacation I went through my vacation and through my July 4th savings challenge or little savings that I did for the holiday but that's okay you know the memories spent with my family is way more important than money and we can always save again well work and save <laughs> so vacation now has let's put this in order 100 And then Thanksgiving, this is a little fun challenge that I did, or it's not a challenge. I mean, it is a little, a little challenge, savings challenge that I did to save for Thanksgiving, which has been fulfilled already. So I just kept that back here. All right. So that is it for my low priority binder. Oh, money is flying everywhere. Okay. Let me just throw that there. And then I am going to stuff my month ahead envelope and that's in my high priority binder so just kind of give you a little overview of it okay so there's the month ahead and I have seven hundred and ten dollars going in here so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, ten. I usually do this every month. Um, last month I saved for all the bills that are gonna get paid this month, and then this month will go to pay next month. And that's essentially the concept of being a month ahead. So you're not essentially using your paycheck every week or every bi-weekly to pay the bills for that month since now you have already saved from the month prior so let's add it add so let's add okay now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine one thousand 100, 200, 300, 2, 4, 6, 8, 400, 420, and 430. So $1,430 so far in our month ahead. We still have two more weeks to stuff in here. All right, that is it for my high priority binder. So next we're gonna stuff this rollover cash from my wallet into my 100 envelopes challenge. This is the only challenge except for my Christmas one that I'm tackling right now. This one's kind of on the high priority. I mean my Christmas one is as well, but this one I would like to tackle it more than anything else. Um, if you don't know, at the end, you save 
over five thousand dollars um i have been stuffing a little more than what the envelope says for example if it says 18 i would stuff it with twenty dollars so let's see we have 20 40 50 55 56 57 58 and i believe we may have a 58 that is still open we do 58 right there um let's find it So, I mean, I could probably stuff all this in there, but to save myself some room, I think I want to swap out $50 for a $50 bill. Let me move this over. I'm going to swap out these bills for a $50 bill so I'm not overstuffing. So let's do a quick bill swap. Can probably pull them. We have a fifty in here. Do it. Okay. Okay. So now we have less. Bills to stuff in our envelope 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. Turn them all the same way. Perfect. All right, 58. All right, and that is it for my challenge so that is it for today's video thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like and subscribe that really helps me out with my channel and also don't forget my two a6 trifle wallets will be available for pre-order sometime this week or next week on my etsy shop so follow me on instagram for more information i'll leave my instagram handle here on the screen for you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye